Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com How to easily modify a 4 inch belt sander so that it can be used with a, a bevel or plunge jig for knife making. Now the problem with most uh, 4 inch belt sanders is that they've got guards or rails on either side of the belt that don't allow um, bevel cuts with a, with a bevel or a plunge jig. It basically means you can't push in the knife blade on either side of the belt. Now, just as a demonstration, this is a one inch belt sander, and of course there's no uh, guide or rails uh, on the left or the right hand side of the belt. So using a um, standard, this is a uh, angle iron uh, bevel jig, um, you can push in and then just drag the blade along the belt sander. And that creates a nice, uh, even bevel along the entire length of the blade. The angle uh, is controlled with a bolt that comes out the bottom of this um, bevel jig. And you can, you know, the, the more you screw in the bolt, the steeper uh, the angle is going to be. But you can't really use this on a 4-inch belt sander because of those side rails. Uh, so I'm going to show you a very easy way to modify uh, most 4-inch belt sanders uh, so that you can use a bevel jig. So we're going to start out. Uh, this is a my 4-inch belt sander, and I'm not guaranteeing that this process is going to work on yours. You'll have to look at it and certainly take responsibility if, if it goes if it goes south. Um, I took the belt off so I could look at the back or the inside of the belt sander um, on both sides and I just made sure that I could cut away a small section on either side of the belt. Um, on the right hand side or the side that controls the tension that's just plastic that cuts away easily. On the left hand side of my belt sander was steel and that I, I was a little bit tougher to cut but just using a um, disc grinder with a cutoff wheel. I'm going to trim off a section of the belt sander. I just used the black magic marker uh, to mark where the belt ends. And I'm going to cut a straight line um, basically down the front and off to the side creating a notch. You know you basically want the width of the steel behind uh, the belt to be the same width as the belt so that you're um, you're going to be able to make plunges in to create that uh, that bevel plunge cut or bevel. So I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, with with the disc grinder, I, I cut down along that marked line, and then I'm going to cut um, cut that notch out the top and the bottom. Uh, and again, before I made this cut, I I looked without the belt sander in place. Um, behind and I made sure I really wasn't cutting anything structural. You do want to make this um, this cutout or this notch as small as possible. You are you know reducing the, the structural integrity a little bit um, cutting the steel on the on the left side of this belt sander. But this entire modification you know took a half hour. It was not very difficult at all. So I cut the, the top and the bottom, and now I'm just going to use a, um, a screwdriver and pry out that piece. Now, it is important to get rid of all the sharp edges. Uh, any sharp edges that are going to protrude um, you know, from the surface it would, will rip up your belt sanding uh, belts. Uh, very quickly. I just used a, a Dremel grinder. Uh, you can either use a small uh, drum sanding disc or, or stone um, and just get rid of all of the sharp edges, anything that could possibly cut your sanding belt. Just as a little extra security, um, I used an oscillating sander with a, a 220 grit uh, paper and I just made sure that the whole um, front surface, that flat surface of the belt sander, completely smooth, no rough edges at all. 
and that's basically it as far as the modification. I'm going to put the uh, belt back on, make sure that uh, everything works properly. I'll uh, screw back on the table at the bottom of this uh, belt sander. And you can see now that I have a space on either side of the belt uh, for me to make that, uh, that plunge or the bevel cut. And here's the uh, you know, conventional angle iron bevel jig. You can see I've got space on both sides of the belt now. So with a, with a knife blank clamped onto this uh, bevel jig, I can slide that, I can plunge in and then slide back and forth. The only modification that I'm going to make to this belt sander is I am going to make that table um, a little bit longer. I can either do that with a piece of metal or uh, just a piece of plywood, um, just so that I, I have a longer area to slide that bevel jig on. I had a couple people ask me, you know, if it was possible to use a four inch belt sander in order to make um, bevel cuts on knives. And with this uh, easy modification, it definitely is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, if you liked this video or thought it was useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.